Hey guys, it's Nancy with Better Life Blog and today I'm super excited to be showing you this awesome tutorial. I know some of you guys have been anxiously waiting for me to post this, especially if you either saw my posts on the Facebook page or uh, if you got the email from me if you're subscribed to my new letter. If you are not subscribed, make sure you get on the list so that you can download this free file and some other awesome files that I send regularly. Um, and uh, yeah, check out this tutorial. Let me know what you guys think. If you try it, make sure you send me a picture or a video. I would love to see that. Um, but basically, the, the mug is a free file um, that is a gas tank that's like filling up, which is really, really cool. I also have another free one that is going to be a battery, and you can use that and make it look like the battery is charging when you fill it up with your hot drink. Um, the cold, the file on the cold cup, um, the glass, is the unicorn file, and this, this comes from my Mermaids and Unicorns bundle. So if you have a little girl in your life or anybody who loves mermaids and unicorns, um, make sure you check out that bundle. Okay, so I've got my mug here and I am using a black mug. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just clean this off first before I start. Windex or alcohol. Okay, let's put that aside. And then I have this thermochromic pigment. And what it is, is it's a powder and it is temperature sensitive. So every single one of these um, has um, a different temperature at which it changes color. So this is from black to pink. So when it's 88 degrees Fahrenheit, which is basically for hot drinks, it's gonna change from black to pink. Um, I have another one over here, which is for cold drinks. Um, I have to find out what the temperature is on this one because this is not the packaging that it was in when I bought it. Um, but this I think changes from like purple to pink or purple to blue or something like that when it gets colder. So this is kind of neat too. And I'll be doing I'll be doing this glass um, for the cold drink, and then I'll be doing this mug for the hot drink. So the design I'm going to be doing is this. Um, gas tank and so it's going to look like the gas tank is being filled up when it gets hot. I've got this really cool holographic looking um, vinyl. I'll get you the link to that. This was from Happy Crafters um, and then this is going to be, you can't really tell from this video, but this is going to be the hair of the unicorn. This gold, this reflective gold is also from Happy Crafters and it's like more like a chrome. You guys, I have tried so hard to find this reflective like vinyl chrome um, gold. What am I trying to say? All of the golds that I've bought are not quite this shiny. They're like more of like a bronzy tone or like they're just not quite what I was looking for so this is exactly what I was looking for and I've only seen it at Happy Crafters so check out the link above for some of their vinyl I'm not sure if I really need the tweaksy this time because the vinyl is so big I usually use it for my tiny, small pieces of weeding. And you guys, this file is available for free, this gas tank, and I also have another one that is a battery. So it looks like the battery is recharging. It's gonna be really cool. So this is what it's gonna look like. Okay, so I've got the stencil on here and I'm just gonna try to rub out any bubbles that are here because I don't want any bleeding. And then what you could also do is, if you wanted to, you could take some tape, some painter's tape, and just put it along the edges in case you think that there might be some bleeding. But I think we're good on this. 
right, so here is my container. Okay, I just grabbed a couple of popsicle sticks and I'm gonna take, again, this is dishwasher safe Mod Podge. And basically you use it and it's top rack dishwasher safe. I would probably still hand wash this, but you do need to allow it to cure for 21 days. So it says place design onto surface, dry one to two hours and add two to three coats. So you, you're gonna wanna allow an hour to, um, dry in between each coat and then add two to three coats and then you have to allow it to cure sorry I said 21 days it's 28 days so you want to allow this to cure for 28 days so I'm just gonna take this popsicle stick and I'm gonna put some in here just enough for one coat I don't want to put too much because then it's gonna dry unless you have a lid Okay, great. Okay, and I'm just gonna get a brush. This probably would be enough paint for three coats if I could keep it that long. And then what's gonna happen is when I paint this on and it dries, you shouldn't be able to see it at all. Until the color comes until the hot liquid gets poured in and so I'm just trying to paint a really thin layer onto this so I ended up painting several thin coats but between each coat you want to just make sure that it dries now let's do our glass and again you want to go ahead and just wipe it clean it with some either Windex, glass cleaner, or alcohol. Right. And I've also got this cool holographic, it's so unicorny, you guys. This just screamed unicorn. I had to do something with a unicorn. So, this is in my Unicorns and Mermaids, Mermaids and Unicorns bundle. And I just peel this right off. If you're enjoying this video, I would absolutely love it if you would share this video with your crafting buddies and uh, hit the like button and comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Again, you want to take the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. This is the thermochromic pigment powder that uh, goes for cold drinks. You have to pay attention to the temperature on the listing of what you're purchasing. And just go ahead and pour some in there. Again, you want to paint in very thin strokes. Ensure that you don't have any bubbles. No bubbles. Bubbles are bad. And like I said, you want to do thin coats and let them dry in between. And 
with this one I feel like I might end up needing more than three thin coats because of how thinly it's coming out. Like I can't really hardly see the pigment at all. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint, let these dry, um, and do the rest of the coats in between. Now I'll come back and show you what it looks like. And you guys, if you are really impatient like me, you can try using a blow dryer in between to try to speed up the process a little bit. Um, ooh, but just watch out that it doesn't blow away all of your stencils. Adding in some more pigment because I just feel like it is not concentrated enough. I feel like the coats are coming out just way too thin. So I'm going to go ahead and add some more of the powder and hopefully the ratio will be a little bit better. I don't have an exact amount of how much I'm putting. I'm just kind of feeling it out. Let's see if this is a little bit better. It's a little better. Okay, so I think this one is pretty dry and I put several coats on here already. And let's go ahead and see. did pretty well. Perfect. And then I have got my decal, which is with um, some permanent adhesive vinyl. I also have my transfer tape. And this one has grid lines. I love this one. Um, this grid line right in the center here so that I can try to align that with my gas meter here. All right, perfect. You guys, I got these this is a smoothing tool for wallpaper. This was like a buck um, at Lowe's. So not a lot of people use wallpaper anymore, or maybe it's making a comeback, I don't know. But those are coming really handy. I have a bunch of them. I bought a whole bunch because I'm always losing these. And they're really cheap. So just a little tip for you there. Okay. Perfect, here we go. So I've got my decal and... I'm just gonna kind of work it with my fingers. trying not to rub the part that I painted too much because I don't want that paint to come up but if it's fully dry it should be okay and here it is oh my goodness this is gonna look so cool so look right now guys the tank is empty we're gonna need to fill this with a nice hot drink so that we could get some energy okay I can't wait to try this out but first let's move on to the unicorn so this is just gonna look like a mustache right now because it's just some locks of purple hair and I went back and forth quite a few times between um, painting a thin coat and then drying it so I probably did that about eight times but it's coming out pretty good I have a little bit of bleeding here but I can clean that up 
probably scratch that off. It'll be okay. Especially since this needs 28 days to cure. Perfect. Okay, that looks pretty good, you guys. I am going to just take the edge of my scissors and I'm just going to kind of try to scrape off this excess right here. I'm not sure if you can see that, sorry. Perfect. All right. Okay, I've got my cool holographic decal here. Transfer tape. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so cute, you guys. This is going to look so cool. I'm just going to reuse this little bit of transfer tape so I don't have to waste any more. Get those pretty lashes. That's it. All right, let's go test this out and see if these work. Da 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 da. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you're on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe and be sure to like and comment as well. Um, and if you are on Facebook, I wanted to let you know that Facebook actually hides most of my posts from you. So even if you've liked my page, there's a good chance that you've missed many, many of my videos. So if you like seeing my videos and you want to see more of them, all you have to do is just follow these steps. If you're on a desktop computer, just hit like and then following and then click see first. Or if you're on your mobile, make sure you click like and then following and then get notifications. And then you want to click see first. And now you'll get notified anytime I post something new or if I do a live video. Thanks for joining me and I will see you next time.